If you've had a first heartbreak before, then I know for a fact that you remember exactly how it felt because that kind of grief is really, really unique and powerful. This is my third piece in my photo series exploring grief and loss outside of death. And this photo represents the loss of a partner. I got into my first serious relationship right after the end of my freshman year of college. During my freshman year, I met a sophomore who was just funny and confident and had the same weird sense of humor that I had. When we first started dating, she had said to me, you know, I told my friends that I knew you and I would date one day. I just didn't think it would be until we were I don't know, 27. But we were in fact 19 and 20 years old and neither of us had been in a serious relationship before so unsurprisingly neither of us really knew what we were doing. We didn't really know how to be great partners to one another and to make a long story short because the details don't really matter for this photo in particular, we broke up after two and a half years of being together. And it was a pretty devastating feeling to know that I wasn't just losing my girlfriend at the time, I was losing my best friend at the time. And I knew that to heal right and to make sure that our breakup wouldn't be as dramatic as a lot of breakups are, we would need to completely stop talking and seeing each other at all. And that's what we did, you know? And, and I'm glad we did that because it was clean. Like there was no real drama with our breakup after it happened. Going through my first heartbreak was a really intense and unique kind of grief that I'd never experienced before. And what I noticed at first, right after the breakup, and what took me a long time to get used to was the, the lonely feeling right before going to bed of not having my person right there next to me. And that's how I chose to depict this photo, representing the loss of a partner. When you go through a breakup of any kind, I think what's really happening is your brain is saying, hey, there was this person who was supposed to be a constant in our life, and now they're not there. They're not in our life anymore, but they very much still exist in your brain. And so the only way to really get rid of those feelings attached to the memories that are still in your brain is to just give it time. Have you felt this kind of grief before? If you're comfortable with it, I'd love for you to share your experience in the comments. And I know that's a really big ask, but how old were you? How long were you with your person? And what was the biggest thing that you had to learn by going through that. If you haven't seen the other two photos in my series, I'll link a playlist to that here and in the description of this video, and you can watch those. One of them is about the loss of parents, as in divorce, and the other one is the loss of a sense of home. And I've got a handful more that I plan to create in the next couple of weeks and months for this series, so stay tuned for those as well. Also, a huge shout out to my very, very amazing friend, Nick Stewart, for helping me to create this photo. I hope you enjoyed those behind the scenes of how we made it happen in my backyard. I appreciate you watching, and I hope I see See you in the next one.